I am in a lot of pain and I'm not sharing this because I want some medical advice off of random people on the internet but I just wanted to talk a little bit about my experiences especially because when you're on a journey to health everybody starts from a different place right all of us are going to be in different physical physical forms uh, different um, ailments different this different that and I talked a little bit about my picos and all of that a couple videos ago but this one I, I really I, re I only just mentioned a couple times I haven't really talked about it too in depth um, but especially since last night it's actually flared up even more and I feel like this is one of those things that I I really want to talk about because <laughs> I'm hurting right now so um, I mentioned this uh, before but uh, I had I had injured my back in 2016. I herniated my disc three times in one year, which was zero out of ten. Do not recommend. That is one of the most painful things I've ever experienced in my life. Obviously, I've never pushed out a child from my JJ, um, but since I haven't experienced that level of pain, this is so the worst pain I've ever felt. Um, but ever since I injured my back in 2016, I have had kind of a weak or lower back. And every so often it will go into spasms, it will hurt. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me, about six months ago, my back has been hurting worse. Um, and it hurts when I wake up. It hurts when I lay. It hurts when I lay down. It hurts when I'm sitting. It just hurts constantly, all the time. I think a lot of it I attribute to the fact that I've been more stationary over the years. Um, I've been doing a lot more editing work, spending eight to ten hours a day sitting at my desk working on videos, and so I think a lot of that comes from being stationary. Um, when I was marathon training, it was actually getting better, and I think a lot of that was because the movements of, and I was also working out and building muscle, um, but yeah, in the last uh, probably six months or so, it has been worse, and it has gotten worse since I've been in a cast, because once I got in a cast for like a month, uh, I was I was much more stationary. I couldn't even, I couldn't really do much of anything right. Um, but last night I noticed, my husband and I, we were watching some movies, and I could just feel heat and just pain in my lower back. I went to go stand up to go to the bathroom a couple times, and when I went to go stand up, I felt as if my entire spine was collapsing in on itself, and as soon as I stood up, um, it was, it was intense because it felt like my spine was collapsing on itself on top of just spasms. I would just feel just my back would seize up and I would feel the spasm and I would just like, oh my god, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip over, I'm gonna fall over. Um, now, the pain hurts. It sucks, it's uncomfortable, but I'm not worried about it. Um, because for the most part I know what the cause is. The cause is that even after the injury, I never really went back to strengthen my lower back. I I have been a lot more, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? I, I said, it, oh, sedentary. I've been a lot more sedentary. So I know what the cause is, right? And I also have extra weight that I'm carrying on me. So there's a lot of pressure that's on my lower weak back. So I'm, I'm still gonna stick to the goal. Um, but like I said, the reason I'm talking about this isn't because I just want to be like, oh, feel sorry for me or, um, you know, I want medical advice or anything because I don't take that off the internet. If I want medical advice, I'll go to the doctor. But I, I just want to, I just want to talk about it to let you guys know that, you know, just because I'm moving around, uh, doesn't mean that it, it doesn't hurt to move around. Um. I, I feel like sometimes we get our get get it in our head that we look at people on the internet and we think oh man they don't have it as worse as us or they're not struggling as me and you know that's why they're able to do the things that they do but that that could be farther from the truth um, I think it's really important to share our experiences whether it's negative or positive because I think in sharing 
all of this, um, we can motivate each other to continue trying to be healthy, trying to better our lives, because everybody has certain experiences that they're going through. For me, it's, you know, I have PCOS, I have um, hypertension, I have my lower back issue, my ankle, <laughs> I have the, the, the fractured ankle that is currently on the mend. So there's a lot of things that I'm also going through, um, but I just wanna, you know, both all of us together as a collective, not to give up. Ooh, see, I just felt a spasm in my back that, that hurt. Um, so talking that aside, putting that aside, uh, ooh, okay, a little spasm. See, the spasms are getting worse and more frequent. And it's worse, like I said, when, I, when I'm when i sedentary. It actually it actually isn't bad when I walk. Uh, it, it hurts at first, but after a while, once I get the blood flowing, um, the pain starts to dissipate. But it's more of when I'm sitting for long periods of time or like when I wake up from having slept. Um, yeah, I could feel the, the just pain down my legs and stuff. Um, but like I said, my plan today is uh, flexibility so I'm gonna be doing some stretches with uh, mr. Tom Merrick I forgot to do it yesterday so I'm gonna do it today obviously I'm gonna go for my walk and today I'm gonna to incorporate a little bit of lower body exercises especially focused on uh, strengthening my ankles and I normally do the lower body exercises with body or what is it with weights but because of the condition of my ankle I'm actually just gonna do it with body weights um, and then core strengthening. Those are the things that I'm gonna be doing today. So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yep, the elements fast. Okay, let's get started. Let's get some movement in our body. Yeah, so today I'm gonna to go ahead and do a 15 minute, normally I do a five minute Tom Merrick video, but today I'm gonna to do a 15 minute. Um, <laughs> Anytime I talk about anytime I talk about having a tight back, people always recommend yoga or Pilates, but just a reminder, I've tried both those things before. I'm just not a yoga Pilates person. I do not find them enjoyable at all. I've done 30 day challenges three times for yoga and I'm just like, it's just not my thing. I don't find it exceptionally fun. I just like regular stretching. Oh, it feels so good. I feel the tightness though, even in my neck. I am just a tight, tight, tight Tanya. I don't know, I'm a tight person. I have a tight ass for sure. Tight everything. I don't know why, what it is about stretching. I just, Tom Merrick I could do. I enjoy him for a lot, but for some reason I'm just like, when it comes to stretching, it's one of those things that I just like, it's the last thing I think about to do. Or flexibility training. Okay, that's hard for me to do because my ankle. Let me see if I could put too much weight on that ankle. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. All right, here's the full last shot, guys. Get your pictures ready. Uh, you can sell it on eBay. Whoa. I feel the tightness. There's a lot more mobility in my back, actually. It wasn't as painful getting up as it was getting out of bed this morning. I dread this movement, but I love it at the same time. I could definitely feel it in the tightness of my ankle right here. I think flexibility is one of those things that has been always very demotivating for me. Because I feel like no matter how long I do the flexibility or stretches, I'm always very, very tight. So I end up giving up on flexibility training more than anything which is my biggest mistake my left ankle is really really tight this morning 
It's definitely tight. I love his stretches, man. Oh man, that took a lot of a lot of tightness away this morning. Whew. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Oh, that felt so good. All right. Yeah, see, I'm feeling a lot more mobile. Damn, that tightness was no joke, yo. All right, I'm going to walk my dog, get some food, and then probably go for a walk um, before I sit down for the day and then edit. And then, because I'll be, um, I'll be sitting down most of the day, I'll, uh, Probably break it up with a lower body exercise towards the evening. <sighs> Obligatory doggy shot in the morning. He is so much more mobile and flexible than I am. <laughs> He's having a good time. All right, so I am about 20 minutes into my walk now. Um, as you can see, it is now nighttime. <laughs> I was going to try to get walking earlier in the day and get all my workouts done during the day, but as soon as I got done filming the last scene and ate, things just went haywire with my family, and it was just an entire day of just... It was just stressful. I'm not going to go into it because it really doesn't matter, but it was... Uh, it was very stressful, and I think tomorrow is going to be equally stressful, but it's okay. See, it's moments like these when you're tired and you're exhausted, both physically and emotionally, when I, you know, you get to that point where you're just like, oh, I don't, I don't even want to go for a walk. I just want to veg out on the couch. Like I would love right now more than anything to be able to just sit on the couch and play Monster Hunter Rise. That sounds like a dream come true. <laughs> but I, you know, I made a promise to myself to stay healthy to get on this path of consistency and and make sure that I do something at least once a day where I'm active whether it's walking running biking strength training it doesn't matter because it's it's not really about what I'm doing it's about staying consistent and doing something um, so today since I wanted to do a little bit of leg workouts, I got I got a couple things from Yoga Yoga with Tim, strengthening ankles and strengthening knees. Since I really need it um, from the injury, I it's going to be about I think a 20 minute workout total. I decided instead of working on the steps, which take a lot of leg muscle, uh, I'm just going to do flat plane walk, and. Uh, that way I won't be so sore and I won't push my legs too hard, especially after the walk I'm going to be doing more strength training. So, um, yeah, it feels good to be out though. I'm going to be honest. At first I really didn't want to go, but what I've kind of built up in my head is that what on the days that I don't want to go, it's just one baby step after another, you know, like you break everything down in your head. It's like first change your clothes. If you're not already in your workout clothes, change your clothes. And then at that point, you're like, well, I changed my clothes, <laughs> put on shoes. And then by the time you get to the point where you're like, okay, you put on your shoes, at that point, it's like, well, walk out the door, walk out the door. And then after that, it's like, well, just go for a walk for 10 minutes. See how you feel after 10 minutes. And then when you start walking, especially around the 10 minute mark, you start getting into the groove of things and then things start to be great. You know, you start to enjoy the walk. And I just kind of incrementally push myself when I'm not feeling up to it. Let me pause here a second because it's going to get kind of loud. All right, I'm going to do a couple yoga with Tim things. Now, I've said before I'm not a huge yoga person, but if I, if I was going to do yoga with somebody, it would definitely be with Tim. I love him um, as a yoga instructor. He is a no bullshit kind of guy, and if I was ever to do yoga, it would be with him. So far, he's my favorite yoga YouTuber. Other people talk way too much, but he's like very straightforward. But he also does other things that's not just yoga related, and so I appreciate him for that. But I'm going to do his knee strengthening exercise because I definitely do feel a lot of tightness and just weakness in my knees. And then I'm also going to do um, the ankle one. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to stick to this for a little bit, just maybe, you know, three times a week. 
and over time hopefully I'll build up some muscle in my in the areas that I'm weak but that's what I'm going to focus on let's do it Tim Okay. Now, if you're not as confident, then put your hand onto something, a wall, a table, help for stability, especially if you have any knee issues. I'm going to have to do it very slow on this. I can definitely feel the weakness, man. It's going to take me a while. I'm still using this to help me a lot more. I'm trying to make sure that my right foot our left leg isn't the one that's the only one lifting up. I'm trying to also make sure to concentrate and use my right. Man, my ankle is so weak. Oh yeah, I'm feeling this. I don't think I could do that. Well, that was harder than I thought it was going to be. Okay, we're going to go over some exercises. Ooh, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Definitely feel my ankles. All right, so I was going to do another video with yoga with Tim, but I am just going to stick to the one. That one was 11 minutes long, and I'm definitely feeling it in my right ankle, uh, my injured ankle. And... I think with exercising, there's a balance, right? Like you wanna push yourself more than what you're comfortable to help strengthen yourself, but you don't wanna push yourself too fast or too hard because if you do that, you're gonna injure yourself. So it's a very delicate balance. And just from what I'm feeling right now, I think we're good. Like I feel like I push myself. If I do any more than that, I might, I might actually hurt my ankle, especially because I'm looking at my ankle right now and it looks a little bit swollen. Um, and I think that might have been from the walk and, and the strengthening. So I'm going to lay off of my feet for the rest of the day, which is fine because I have some videos I have to edit. So I'm going to take a shower, but tomorrow is going to be an interesting day. Um, I have to go up north in Okinawa, uh, to deliver some medication for my aunt and my uncle who are sick. Well, my aunt's really sick and my uncle just had eye surgery. And he can't really, see, he's blind right now. So they both need some medicine and my mom's a pharmacist. So she's asking me to take it up there to them. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. But the drive is like an hour and 40 minutes one way. <laughs> so it's going to really, really, um, it's going to, it's going to take a huge chunk out of my day tomorrow. Um, plus obviously I also, I also have, um, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say. Anyways, yeah. We'll see. Yep, my ankle's a little swollen. I think we're good. We're good. All right, well, I hope you guys, wherever you are, have a beautiful day, evening, night, whatever it is for you. I guess evening and night are the same thing. But yeah, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow.